Do you know about your soils? Soil gives us life. I am saying soils gives us life because most of the food that we grow comes from the soils. Yet, most of us farmers do not know how to care for it. It's an open secret that most farmers do know that when they grow a crop year in and year out in one field, the yields will not be as expected. So, what do they do? They will let the field to rest for years so that this field can recover. But this, of course, takes time. Other farmers will actually buy chemical fertilizers to enrich the soils, and others will also buy pesticides to kill whatever harms or eats the crop. But of course, this is another wastage of money. We need better understanding of these soils so that we can practice methods that keep our soils fertile and crop productive without using any money. Healthy soils means healthy crops. We are going to look at what makes the soils healthy. There are tiny little animals that live in the soil. And these tiny little animals are called microbes. We cannot see them with our naked eyes, but they live in the soil. They consist of bacteria and fungi, and they help feed our crops with important nutrients. And this is for free. Without them, plants do not grow well and are exposed to diseases. And this leads to farmers not having a good harvest and income in the process. So, to keep these soil microbes in abundance, they need to eat so that they can keep our crops healthy. It means we have to feed these microbes. And we can only do that by returning crop residues back into the soil after harvest. This will be the best way to feed the tiny little animals. When the microbes are present in the soil, they live in close association with your crop roots and they pass on critical nutrients that plant needs. Your crops also produces sugars in the leaves through a process called photosynthesis. These sugars flow down to the roots and are passed on to the bacteria and the fungi in exchange for the nutrients they give back to your crop. In return, bacteria will give back nitrogen in form that the plant can use. And this is critical for plant growth. Whereas fungi has a long root system called mycelium. You cannot see it also with your naked eyes. Its work is to absorb other key minerals like phosphorus used by your crop to produce a good harvest. Healthy soils appear dark over time if you keep on feeding these little soil animals, which are called microbes. Keeping soils healthy. When we are talking about keeping soils healthy, there are ways or practices that are acceptable and also practices that are unacceptable. So firstly, let us look at practices that are acceptable. As a farmer, you need to keep crop residue or dead matter on the surface of your soil. This will help to cool and protect the soil from the harsh sun. It will also help to retain moisture, which is necessary to keep soil microbes alive. It will also keep weeds from growing and becoming a problem. Apply compost manure. 
you might be wondering why applying compost manure. The compost manure adds more nutrients for your crop by feeding the soil microbes. They also keep soil particles together and maintain moisture in the soils. One other important thing that a farmer should do is to rotate crops. Rotating crops year after year will reduce risks of depleting soil nutrients, reduce disturbances to your soil by reap plowing and making basins, and again avoid ways that cause soils to dry up more quickly and can kill soil microbes. Those are the acceptable ways. And now let us also look at the unacceptable practices. Please do not burn crop residue. This has been a very big problem amongst our farmers. Immediately they do the harvest, they will let fire go in the field. Remember, the soils are also getting affected. Stop cattle and other animals from eating the crop residue or trampling on grisidia. Make sure that you avoid commercial fertilizers, which will cause your crop to stop feeding soil microbes, and these soil microbes will definitely die. Do not plow in ways that will expose your soils to direct sun or direct exposure to rains because this is going to cause soil erosion. You might be wondering, what is soil erosion? This is the washing away of the much-needed topsoils by the rains. Now, I want you to know more about your soils. When you have healthy soils, chemical fertilizers and pesticides are not needed. This will save you a lot of money. Most times, chemical pesticides and fertilizers, they make the soil sour or acidic. When our soils become sour or acidic, they will kill off soil microbes, which are very important for our soils. When you have healthy soils, they prevent harmful toxins from entering your crops. What are aflatoxins? Aflatoxins are poisonous substances produced by a certain fungi which grow in the soil. It's also found in decaying vegetation and various staple foodstuffs and commodities. Aflatoxins reduces the value of your crop on the market. They are also poisonous to your body when eaten in excess. Throughout our discussion, we've been looking at um, the importance of um, keeping soils healthy. And now I'll share with you the simplest way in which um, a farmer can actually keep their soil healthy. And this is through the use of a wonder tree called Grisidia sepia. So let us look at um, the benefits of this Grisidia sepia. Caring for the living life forms in soils or microbes is very critical. Grisidia and other methods of conservation farming help to do this. This Grisidia we're talking about can pull nitrogen from the air through its association with microbes. As a result, Grisidia leaves are rich in nitrogen and other minerals. This is beneficial to your crop. Farmers can strip fresh leaves and feed them into the soil when it is time to plant crop seeds. This way, the crop seedlings will have a healthy supply of nutrients to maintain strong growth. This is a better way to fertilize soils than chemical fertilizers because leaves from Grisidia tree have more nutrients and are free. Another thing is that um, Grisidia roots go deep in the soil and can feed on minerals through its association with fungi if soils are not disturbed. These minerals find their way to Grisidia leaves, which become a source of natural fertilizer when feeding them into soil when planting crops. 
More benefits of Griseidia are that dry heat from the sun can kill the soil microbes, but the shade from Griseidia during hot weather protects them so they are valuable when it is time to plant crops. When these fresh Griseidia leaves are striped, applied, and buried in plant basins or rip lines, these leaves will provide nutrients into the soil as they decompose. Griseidia also adds carbon to the soil, which keeps it fertile and also helps to feed these soil microbes. Healthy soils leads to healthy and happy people. Good health is so valuable. It allows us to be active and to do many things that can keep our families safe. And this good health comes largely from what we eat and also by having enough healthy food. Nutritious food comes with all the minerals and organic compounds that healthy soils can provide. So as a farmer, you are key to maintaining this link to good health through the healthy soils. Healthy soils leads to higher yields, better testing crops, and more money. If the farmer works with the Komako and follows the principles of sustainable agriculture, then Komako will buy the crop at a premium price. Win, 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 more benefits. The points we have just given out for healthier soils are an important way to add value to your crops. Very important. Your crops will be at less risk to disease or pests. Your crops will contain more nutrition for your family. And your crops will have a higher market value through partners like Komako who find premium markets to buy such crops. Healthy soil leads to healthy crops and healthy people. Let us create a win-win situation.